Okay. Alright, I see it. Alright. Yeah, all it is is sliding whatever we preset is the width up or down. The width doesn't change, it's what it's high and what it's low is changes. So it's just for changing these numbers. That's it. That's if you want that theta, to, and it doesn't change it here, this is on the fly while you're training. If you hit the T key, will you change theta from 4 to 7 to go 5 to 8, 6 to 10? Okay, then somewhere there, I hope to find that, the answer to what I'm, I was talking about. How do I make it very, very sensitive for someone who, you know, can't make, a, you know, who has a hard time uh, changing a modality so they see a very small change as opposed to somebody who's very good at it where I make it much, uh, much broader change. They can, they can change very easily. So you're talking about the threshold. Yeah, but when I'm looking at when, when I'm doing training, that's how uh -huh. I want to do You want to be able to make it easier or harder? Yes. That's all threshold-based. We'll get to that in a couple screens. Okay, I think I know. Okay. okay, all right. Digital filter amplitude smoothing and damping factors. This is simply, as we look at different screens, and let's use the one, for example, the first one, is if I'm looking at the thermometer screen, on the training screen, the thermometer panel, not the separate thermos for now, but the little thermometer screen that comes up on the training screen. And it's bouncing up and down, it's bouncing up and down. If I say, you know what, it's too poppy, it's too, you know, it jumps up and down too fast, I want it to be a little smoother, more aesthetically pleasing, okay? Well, you can do that. However, pros and cons to things, okay? I can slow down that thermometer and make it nice and smooth and pleasing, but what have I done? I've introduced delay. Okay? So, we've always defaulted it at 60 milliseconds. Okay? Pretty fast. But if you say, you know what, I'd rather, <coughs> I'd rather take it up to one second, a thousand milliseconds. Thermometer is going to be nice and smooth up and down, but really, are you any are you in real time anymore, or even close to real time? No. So you got to keep that in mind when you make those decisions. But you're doing it like if you're working with a hyperactive kid, mm -hmm. who's bouncing all over, a real jitterbug. Right. I mean, that's the, but you use it as a, as a last resort. Right. There may be times that it makes sense. Nobody's debating that. However, it's usually not all the time that it makes sense. And it costs you. Something and you're giving something up. You're giving the brain the instantaneous information is no longer there. Okay? Now, text damping factor. Same type scenario, we just give you a separate adjustment. The reason being is, for instance, the number screen. We're giving you a number in a moment of time representing the amplitude, for instance, of theta. And let's say it's 6.5 microvolts. If that was in, quote, real time, could you read that number? It would be flying so fast and changing continuously that it would be hard to see. I mean, you could, but it would be tricky to see. So we slow it down. We go one-tenth of a second damping, just so it's visually, you can read the number. If I want to take this to zero, the number's changing so fast I can't see it. Now I could slow it down even more and go again to that thousand milliseconds and it would be changing even slower. If you made it 60, you would be, you would be uh, aligned with what has been seen in the... Thermometers, the however, 60 is tricky to see. I mean, you can see it if it holds a number for a moment in time, but if it's really fluctuating a lot, the number's spinning so fast you can't see it really. So again, that one requires a hair more damping to be able to visually see the number. Because there's more visual processing going on looking at those numbers. Than Versus it is looking at the variation on the thing. On the bar graph, yeah. sure. Okay, again, if I make changes, I want to get back, I hit standard settings, it goes back to the original. Any questions on this screen? Pretty straightforward, not a lot going on. But it's giving you the capabilities of adjusting components. Oh.